Okay, so we're off on the uh, on the hunt for Chewbacca today. Alex Heaton, the actor who played Chewbacca in Star Wars, lives around here somewhere, and uh, let's see if we can find him. Hi, excuse me. We're trying to find this guy, Chewbacca. Have you seen him around here anywhere? Yeah, he's just down there on the right. Is he? Oh, brilliant! We thought he was on the left. That's super. Thank you very much. Cheers. So we are in the right place. It's a good view of these. This is good fun. We good. heard he lives around here. Right, we're on the trail. Thanks very much. Thank we you. picked the one. We picked the one person in the whole of London who's never heard of Star Wars. Oh my God. Hi, fella. Can I just grab you? We're, we're trying to find this guy, Chewbacca. Right. Apparently, he's local. About seven foot six, body hair issues. I think I would have, have seen you, him, mate. So. You would have seen him. Okay, well, keep looking. Thank you. Um, it just did. There he is. Ah, there he is, the big man. Hey, then, excuse can you pop over here a sec? We've been doing a little bit of door stopping. We're looking for this guy. <laughs> He's uh, <laughs> sort of seven foot six, body hair issues. Uh, you spotted him at all? I think, I think last time I saw him, he was running that way. Because <laughs> a couple of guys says he lives around the corner on the right. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Martin. Good. Hello, Alex. Sorry. So I can like very proudly say that for a good, a good three to four months of my life, I was in the Chewbacca suit, the official Chewbacca suit, in on the official Millennium Falcon, um, doing the the iconic Kessel Rock. And what is Chewie meant to be? His ways of working. He's he's a Wookiee. He's a Wookiee. A Wookiee. Yeah. Right. Well, I do the stand-in and I do the double. Um, Chewbacca has blue eyes, whereas I've got brown eyes. Okay. So, so they so see... they can't shoot me from the front. <laughs> we need some verification that you actually aren't making all this up. Oh no, we're not making. Oh, no, I'm not making. We'd like you to actually oh, roar God. so that we can confirm so, if this is true or not. So can you do oh, this? Okay. Oh, okay. I need, I, need some more, I, need, I need some water to get the. Uh... He's taking it seriously. It might be true, guys. It might be true. <laughs> the mask, ironically, does help a lot. Because so when, yeah. so when he's, you, he's so making you. excuses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not bad. I like it. Okay, just to have a comparison again. <laughs> it's actually true. We've got the real Chewy in the car. Fantastic. How did you get involved with this whole stem cell stuff? Uh, me and my mum uh, were watch, watch, literally just watching the news, and it came on. Uh, they, were, they were just talking about stem cell uh, donations in general, but they were saying, you know, mixed race people, it's really hard to find um, a match for because it, there could be so many different variables that go into like kind uh, of their, their DNA. Yeah, and in fine. this one case, this little boy was mixed race um, Caribbean. My mum was like, God, that reminds me of you when you were that age. I'm like very much a child of two, two mixed race parents yeah. um, and very much European Caribbean. Um, so when we heard that, me and my mum both were like, oh, we need to find out how to do this. On a few occasions, I completely forgot that I'd even... Yeah, most uh, people apply. never even hear again. Yeah. yeah. For me, I was like, cool, let's, like, like t tell me what I need to do to, to get the process going as, as quickly and as easy as, as, easy as possible. You start realising the importance of what you're actually about to do. They tell you kind of categorically, by doing this, you are potentially saving someone else's life. You do kind of feel an obligation from that point going forward to like, okay, cool, yeah, I'm, I, I need to go through with this. You can't really be like, oh, I'll get around to it eventually. You can't, they, they really make it clear to you that, hey, there's an unhealthy person here who is living probably the worst way possible. What you're giving them could completely change the way that they live. Yeah. If you've come that far, it really is a literal case of like falling at the last hurdle and not picking yourself back up. Yeah, completely. It's yeah, kind of yeah. like there would be, I, I personally would feel too much shame if I backed out knowing that someone else had gone through worse, expecting me to pull through and then not and holding up to my end of the bargain. Yeah, we always say to people, look, if you're not sure about this, don't do it. Because exactly, the last yeah. thing the patient wants is- um, Hope. Is, a, is, is false hope. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But it's, the, pro it's, the process itself is is so easy and you're looked after from start to finish. Yeah, like, in, like, in no way, uh, at any point, did my mind say, you know what, I can't do this. Because I knew that I knew what I was signing, I was, I was signing up for, so I knew that I'd, I'd, go, I'd go through with it, um, kind of no matter what happened. You know, if that, I, I feel like with stem cell donation, that if you were able to put across how easy that was to do, yeah. I think a lot more people would do it. I think they think it's more of a big deal. I, I describe it as now five hours, they whack a, le a line in one arm, yeah. spin out the blood, put yeah. your own blood back in, and exactly. you're in and yeah. out in five hours. Yeah, exactly. Is, you know, if that, I, I feel like with stem cell donation, 
that if you were able to put across how easy that was to do, yeah. I think a lot more people would do it. I think they think it's more of a big it's, deal. It's, it's also it's also a thing of like, well, I didn't I didn't need to go to the doctors to, to get anything done. No. They send it to you in the post, yeah. and then you send it back to them. And it's 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 as it's as simple as that. It's, yeah, it's here, and this is something where you can actually make it work. Yeah, right? that's exactly. The, that's yeah. The, without spending any money, yeah. doing anything, it's just inside you. Yeah, you could give something which is essentially priceless. Like, I'd like to think that someone else would do the same for me.